Today, I think I'm gonna make this sort of a little cooking video. Right now, I'm on a walk with Bay. When I get home, I wanna put together this cute little Carabas like meal. I wanna make some chicken brian, and I think I wanna make the little Alfredo sauce from Olive Garden that they dip the breadsticks in. So it's kinda gonna be all over the place, but I'm gonna take out with me as I go get these little groceries, and then I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna throw all this together. I made it to Walmart. It's about to start raining soon, so I'm finna just go ahead, get everything that I have on my list and on my list only, so I can get up out of here real quick. I'm gonna get a big boy basket because I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of groceries. Here's our grocery list. Let's see how fast we can get everything on it. All right, the Parmigiano and Romano cheese. We're also gonna grab some panini noodles. Need some heavy whipping cream. Have some milk to go with it. Can't remember what kind of cranberry juice they like, so I'm gonna get the peach and the strawberry. Ask for some sour candy, and yes, it was on the list. Thick butter. Need some lemon juice to go on the basket. Need some garlic salt. We just ran out of black pepper, so I need some black pepper. Need some Italian seasoning. We need some flour. Of course, I need a pack of chicken breast. I'm getting these kind of breadsticks, but everybody kept saying to get the great value kind. Oh no, they do have them, yay. They said that these taste exactly like Olive Garden, so I'm gonna get these garlic breadsticks. Some sun-dried tomatoes. got everything I could off my list out of Walmart, but they didn't have minced garlic and they didn't have goat cheese. So we're gonna run by Publix and go get those two things and then we're gonna go home and start cooking. We made it to Publix, so let's go in here, get some minced garlic, some goat cheese, and then I'm gonna look around for a few other items. Instantly found the goat cheese, first thing off the list. I've been some minced garlic, and now let's just look around for something fun to eat. This little strawberry shortcake look interesting. So me and Blake Bay are gonna split this after we eat. I'm only gonna get these three items. So let's get up out of here and go home. I got my three little items from Publix. I'm gonna meet y'all back at the house when it's time to start cooking. Now that I've showered and changed, before we get started, my sister did not know that I keep homemade art in my laundry room. So she sent me this cute little picture when she found out that she made herself. So let me show y'all on the laundry room. Some cute little art my aunt gave me. That's a little art picture that London made a few months ago. That's what London made when we first met. My other baby sister made me this years ago. Somebody random got me that. So now it's time to find a spot to add my sister's art. I think I'm going to put it right here. So, thumbtack. I'm going to stick a thumbtack in the wall. Thumbtack in. Uh, here's her little art. Let's hang it up. Make sure it's straight. Press it in the wall some more. String it out, and ba-boom. I have now officially added her artwork to the collection. Letting the chicken marinate for the last 30 minutes, so let's get the chicken out. We got all of our ingredients laid out with our all of our little equipment and tools, so let's get the cooking. He stated to put the chicken in first, and look at that marinated chicken, looks good. But I'ma start with all the wet ingredients, mix them up, and then put in the chicken. So first I'ma need about, y'all hear that sizzling already? I already preheated the crock pot. 
but it says put about 16 ounces of this. So I'm gonna put half of this. I'm trying to do everything with one hand. So pour about half the heavy whipping cream. Say the rest of that for the Alfredo sauce, the copycat um, Olive Garden Alfredo sauce we're doing later. Then it says about two tablespoons of lemon juice. So I'm going to just squeeze this until I feel like it makes two tablespoons. That feels like about two tablespoons. Then it says do about two tablespoons of garlic. I'm going to need both hands for this, so give me one minute. It says to use the entire jar of these sun-dried tomatoes, but you have to drain them. So let's drain these. And then we're gonna pour these up in there. I'm gonna need both hands to do that too. Then we got our garlic and tomatoes in there. We need to add a little bit of salt. We need to add a little bit of pepper. Lots of pepper actually. That's gonna bring the heat. And I'm gonna just go ahead and dump the rest of the Italian seasoning that I have in there as well. a good little mix before we add our chicken in. Lastly, we're just going to put in our two little chicken breasts. I'm going to do this with both hands as well. We're going to give this a good little mix. Just kind of cover it with that sauce to cook. We can just push it down up in there. I'm trying to cover it in scoop. We can just push that down up in there and make sure every bit of chicken is covered in the sauce. It's going to cover that with the top. We're going to let that cook for about three hours. I'm going to check back in with y'all in about three or four hours when it's done cooking and show y'all the final results when I'm adding the noodles. And I'll show y'all my little recipe I'm going to use to make the breadsticks and the little Olive Garden Alfredo sauce. It's been four hours. This is what we're looking like right now. I shredded all of the chicken breasts in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and start cooking out Alfredo sauce from Olive Garden for the breadstick. And we're gonna go ahead and boil our noodles to go into the crock pot. For my noodles, I'm just gonna fill this up two times with water, boiling hot water. Pour the first bit of hot water. Fill this up again. Pour our second amount of hot water. I like to sprinkle in a little virgin olive oil. That way my noodles don't clump up and get stuck together. I'm going to bring that to a boil and then add in my pasta noodles. While I got that on the simmer and I got my water trying to come to a boil, I'm going to look up some TikToks to make sure I'm going to be making this um, little Alfredo sauce right. So give me a minute. That the water's hot enough, I'm going to add my pasta noodles. Give that a good stir to make sure the olive oil gets between all of the noodles so nothing sticks together. I was very careful about this Olive Garden recipe because I've made it before and my boyfriend thought it didn't taste like Olive Garden. So he told me only make it if I'm sure this time. So this time I'm sure I looked up 12,000 different recipes, made sure I got the best ingredients for it. So we finna get started. First I need three tablespoons of butter. So let's get out the butter. This butter was $5. I have never spent that much on butter a day in my life. Three tablespoons. Measurements, one, two, and three. Plop that in. I already sizzling because I preheated the saucepan. Then it said two tablespoons of garlic. I got my measuring cup out. Tablespoon one. Tablespoon number two. Let me put everything up as I go. It said to let this saute gather for about one minute. And then we're gonna add two tablespoons of flour. So let's go ahead and get it ready for the flour. Let me get the rest of this garlic up out here. Rinse it off. Now I'm gonna give my um, noodles a little stir real quick. Stir that up. 
This is actually my great value flower. Let me go get my good flower. My gold metal flower. He said it's sauteing for about a minute, so let me set this timer for at least 30 more seconds because I feel like I'm moving so fast that I'm messing something up. Five, four, three, two, I know, you see. Okay. So now I need two tablespoons of flour. Tablespoon one. Tablespoon number two. I'm gonna put this up. I'm gonna throw this away. And now I'm gonna mix my flour. Okay, just giving me gravy vibes already. Okay, he said add one and one and a half cups of, um, sorry, let me see. He said add one and one and a half cups of milk. I don't know if I got enough milk because I actually did not buy milk for this because I didn't realize I was going to need it. So let's see what we got. Okay, there go one cup. Oh, I made a mess. And then he said in half a cup. Let's see if I got half a cup. Yay, half a cup. Okay. One and one half a cup of milk. Let's put this up. Now, I'm not sure how much half and half he said, so let me go check real quick. Okay, I went and checked. He said I'm going to need one and one half cup of heavy cream. So let's do one cup. Right away. And let's do half a cup. And I'm gonna put this up in the refrigerator, cleaning as I go. I had to make a confession. I have already screwed up the recipe because he said one tablespoon of minced garlic and I did two tablespoons of minced garlic. I don't know how I made that mistake, but hopefully it doesn't be too garlicky. So I'm gonna let this come to a boil before I add my cheese to it, which the cheese I'm gonna add to it is gonna be one cup of this Romana and Parmesan cheese. And then he says salt and pepper it as you like for taste. So I'll check back in with y'all when it's time to add the cheese and it come to a boil. Now that this has started boiling for me, I'm going to go ahead and add only half of my cheese so I can mix it in slowly as I go in and not chunk. So that that's all mixed down, we're going to add the other half of our cheese in there. This is turning out so good. Throwing this in the sink, obviously. Now we're going to mix up the last little bit of our cheese and our sauce, and then let's check on our noodles. Our noodles are just about done, so let's go ahead and add these to the mix in the crock pot, and I'm going to add just a little bit of the pasta water. Because I don't want to get rid of that pasta water, I'm going to add the noodles directly to the mixture from the pot. I've added about half of my noodles, so now I'm going to just mix it just to make sure I'm evenly proportioning everything. I don't want nothing dry now. So I don't think I'm gonna use all of this pasta. I'm gonna add a little bit more heavy whipping cream. That way the pasta kind of expands some more. Cook just a tad bit more for my liking. This is what we're looking like so far. So we're gonna let those noodles cook for at least 30 more minutes in the mixture. And then we're gonna come back and check on it. Thing I'm gonna do is throw these little garlic knots in the air fry and we'll be ready to eat. Here's Bay little plate. Here's my little plate. The leftover sauce, some noodles in case he just wants Alfredo and noodles and our leftover breadsticks. I know it's good because we've been tasting it as we go, but how is it, babe? You like it? Mm. Tell me it's so good. I should have made it. Now that I'm done cooking, that was like a 10 hour shift. I'm finna eat and I will see y'all on the next vlog. Bye!